Hey everybody. I'm going to do some apple glazed pork chops tonight. I've already got my pork chops ready to go. They're in the sink, washed. <clears throat> They're center cut three quarter of an inch. For me, that's the perfect thickness. It's not too thick, but not too thin. Alright, now for my seasonings that I'm going to put on this, I'm going to mix them. I got four tablespoons brown sugar. Four teaspoons paprika. A teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons onion powder. Two teaspoons garlic powder. Two teaspoons ground mustard. Two teaspoons thyme. And a teaspoon of black pepper. Then you're going to take those ingredients and you're just going to, you know, mix it together. Now that it's all mixed together, see, that's how it should look. We're going to take it and we're going to sprinkle it on the pork chops. Let's take you a handful. Right Once you got them nice and coated on this side, just take them and flip them. Do the same thing to the other side. And I like to season in my sink because it makes cleanup a lot easier. Pork chops are seasoned. I'm going to let them sit for a little bit. While they sit, I got about three to four tablespoons of apple jelly. And I'm going to pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. I got about two cups of water in here and I'm going to turn that on to medium. I'm going to add one of these chicken stock cubes and the little jelly things. And then to that I'm going to add salt, to, I meant pepper to taste. and salt to taste. In this other pot, I'm going to put two cans of green beans. One. I, I leave the juice in all of them. Two. Pepper to taste. Salt to taste and about three quarters of a can of water. Now turn this burner on also to medium heat. This is heated up. My water is heating up and my uh, green beans are heating up. So since everything's ready, I'm going to take my pork chops like this. Just lay one, one on. And I did not put any kind of non-stick on this. But I'm going to alternate them just like that. And then close it.
that stock has now dissolved into the water. And I'm going to put two, two packs of the boiling bag white rice. My rice has to have flavor. If it's just plain white rice, I will not eat it. So I boil it in chicken stock. Or chicken broth. Don't really matter. Just some or I mean you could even boil it in beef if you wanted to. It's just that's how I do it so it's got flavor. Alright. Let's check on my apple jelly. Let's see how it looks now. Okay. That's all I did to it was kind of melted it down. Alright, now after about four minutes, I'm going to check them. They're looking good, but they're not done yet. I'm going to take them, and I'm going to flip them. And after I flip them, I'm going to let them cook for another about four minutes. Alright. And now they are done. See them? And that's not burnt. That's just the caramelized sugar. That is. Now I'm going to set these off to the side for just a moment. And I'm going to put two more on here. Just like that. Remember, alternate them, they fit better. Now here's these pork chops. Remember that apple jelly that I told you to microwave? Now take it, just kind of brush them on. Alright, now I'm ready to flip. Just grab it and flip it. Alright, now them should be done. And see, like I said, that's just the sugar. If you don't like it, just take it off with the tongs. Just like that. See, it comes off. Alright. And see, now what I do is if it gets the, if the seasoning gets a little too thick on there, like it is, I just take a cold sponge and I wipe it off. See? And I just wipe it off. And while them go, you can yeah, slide it back. And brush them with your apple dip. And when I said the seasoning get in the sink makes it easier to clean, just a little bit of hot water. A little bit of soap on the sponge. A little bit of soap on the sponge. And see, now it's done. My green beans, look, they're done. My rice, is also done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn both burners off. 
And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drain them. Now, I take the bags of rice. And they are hot, so be careful. And I stand them up. Grab a pair of scissors. I'm just going to throw that right there for now. I open them. Pick it up. And dump it. And again, it is very, very hot, so be careful. Back on the burner. Now, so I'm going to flip these pork chops real quick. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon in there to begin with. And now look at it. See it? And that's what it should look like. Now I'm going to give it a taste. And see if it's got enough of everything. Perfect. Say no more pink on that bone. So they are done. Pull them off. Sit them on your plate. Unplug it. One last time. A little bit of apple jelly. Now it's done. And 